Hey there guys, what's going on and welcome back to the old Smart RTG episode 7. We are on episode 7 and if you want to see this series continue to be a daily upload, 3,000 likes, hit that and it'd be much appreciated. You guys are showing some incredible support, you're loving this series uh, just as much as I am right now. And we've been on a streak, yesterday I was playing through Div Rivals and I haven't lost for over, I think it's like eight or, or nine games now. I really do feel quite confident on both accounts with using average teams, expensive sides. I've really like picked up the game a lot faster than FIFA 19 and it's looking promising for the first weekend league but that's why we need to grind and we need to make sure we put something together that's gonna give myself like the best possible chance of getting into at least elite, gold elite, you know? Gold one is probably the aim for the first week on the RT but then second week, third week, depending on how many coins we're able to make, that's when I want to start pushing into the elite ranks and getting those team of the week rewards. So Div Rivals, I'm pretty sure where I left it yesterday, we were in Division 3, no sorry, Division 4, Rank 2. Hopefully I've been able to stay in rank two because that gives us like a 50k pack, a mega pack. If we have dropped just below, uh, we will just push next week and really grind it out. So let's see. What do we get? I don't know what that is. C4 rewards? Oh, rank two it is. All right, so we get a 50k pack, mega pack, jumbo premium gold pack, and 160 foot champ points. So you know what I'm going to take for the first lot of rewards on the RTG? It's got to be packs. Packs are fun. And what I have noticed as well is if I pull a big player, then I start like going into that league and building fresh sides and trying out new faces. If you give me the coins, then I'm probably going to go and purchase some boring players. So if it forces me to not only use different cards but then i get loyalty as i pack all of these players we can start doing more of those advanced sbcs so let's claim our packs and go and open these rewards but question of the day like i say i don't know if i asked the question of the day how many coins have you guys got in the comment section i want to know like what you're rocking with uh, these days because if i am going to be producing content on both accounts i want to start focusing on some more well, budget teams or expensive sides to really help you boys out so just drop in the comment section how many coins are you running whether or not it's an rtg or a pay to win account do let me know but shall we go and open these packs I think so. Let's do it. So here we go. We do have quite a few packs ready. And as we've been grinding the RTG, I've just been saving up those packs that we unlock through the season objectives and hitting those milestones. So the first one, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. And I want to really ask you boys your opinions towards the gameplay itself. Do you think it needs to be sped up? Do you think it even needs to be slowed down? Because I see and hear a lot of people complaining about the speed of the game and they want to add this quickness. And although... Um, I don't mind like even even fast gameplay or what we're playing right now I'm just gonna say if they start like playing around with the speed I think you're gonna see a lot more kickoff goals more rebounds so be careful what you wish for because i feel like the gameplay speed is fine like you can beat players for pace if someone is overextending in the defense you can take advantage of that good pack right there we already have him and i think he's about three thousand coins let's get it that's nice um so for me personally i've been getting on with the game all right uh defensively it takes more skill you can't just dart in it's really you want to be playing passive aggressive so you want to hold off hold off and then at the last minute dart into dart into the challenge uh Decore, uh 69 pace the only problem with Decore is that he has high to medium so i don't really want to use that particularly but if he had medium to high that would be a pretty decent card six foot great interception stand tackle pretty uh, decent strength and he is uh, quite tall but we've got an 81 to 83 player pick who knows who's hiding come on um assist fabricas de jong i'll just take uh fabricas for the rating oh, oh the, the the two highest rated are quite slow oh gaitan's got a good card Oh, two-star weak foot. Damn, all right, I'll take the rare. At least I can uh, discard that later on if I need to. Uh, a lot of these non-rares are just going to be useful for the SPCs, like I mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, the kits and the balls I should really just discard. But moving on, boys. Yeah, but like I say, just let me know how you're finding the game. But this is the 50k pack. Oh, my. Oh, this is a walkout. Oh, it is a walkout. It's Brazilian. It's in form. Center back. Is it in inform? Oh my god, no! Oh my god, already! T 
Thiago Silva on the RTG. Whoa. My pack like has been insane. No way. 88 in form. Massive walkout. I don't even know what's going on with the player faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dynamic images. You point to that. What's going on with them? Halfway off the screen. That's tradable. From Div Rivals. First week of Div Rivals. And I got Tiago Silva 88. That has completely changed things. Just as well I took packs. That is insane, man. My pat luck is changing. Come on, boys. That is such a good looking card, apart from the pace. <laughs> the pace is so bad. God's sake, man. He looks unplayable. Oh, 65,000, though. Um, God damn. I'm going to try him. I'm going to try him. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That is a. That's a, like a really good investment, I think. 88 inform, maybe. Uh, medium to high work rate, six foot. I tell you who is a good investment. And that is Coutinho, because he's been given a one to watch. So he's going to be going out of packs tomorrow because that is the 27th. And that's when the one to watch promo starts. So he's only been in packs for a day and he may be pretty good. Um, but his physical could have done with a bit more of an upgrade. But the defending is quality. I'm going to give uh, Thiago Silva a go. And then it's a really, really good player to then either sell on. And we've got coins ready to go and purchase like a big signing for our RTG. Uh, Kadira 83. I, I don't really have any interest in using him. Uh, we've got anyone else that would be playable. Florenzi. Wow. Florenzi. I, I saw him at the end. Yeah, he's about 6,000 coins. I'm not going to like rush out and sell because a lot of people will be flooding him on the market. I'm going to wait, uh, wait a while. But that's like another 6,000 coins. Bolly. Bolly's getting discarded. I don't like Bolly. Anyway, moving on. Mega Pack. I swear to God, I always pack Bolly. Mega Pack. Can it get any better than the ATA Inform Walkout? That is ridiculous. I'm still in disbelief. First week of Div Rivals, and we get a Tiago Silva. That is massive. Uh, next pack, not so good. Uh, Biglia, 55 pace, is pretty much unplayable. And I think really with this game, it's just finding the formation that suits you, because a lot of people have been having ex uh, success with a 4-3-3, a 3-5-2, a 4-4-2. There's a lot more variety, a 4-2-3-1, you name it. I'm currently using a 4-1-2-1-2. So how many formations have I just listed out? Like five, six? So that's why build-up play is essential on FIFA 20. Like, you've got to play football. I, I don't think it really is the be-all and end-all. Although you will find eventually, like, a formation that just everyone starts using because it feels overpowered. But it's all to do with the way you're playing. That's just what I've picked up uh, with the game but the last one boys two player pack and then we're going to go fix this team and figure out a way to get chemistry amongst uh, all of the players and maybe a new signing that we want to go and purchase i've been uh, playing around with uh, the starting 11 yesterday i did make a couple of new purchases and some of them have been really really good but last pack is a pata that was just a standard two player pack if you guys had any luck with those um, two player packs. Maybe I could get some ready. I still cannot believe it. We've packed three informs already in this series, and with the other accounts spending so many few points, like it takes a lot to get just even one inform or one high rated card. And then we get a Tiago Silva. Tradable. He is tradable, right? Yeah, tradable. That's why I think it's all important to take the tradable rewards week one, week two, week three. And then depending on what kind of SBCs come out, then you know. But with the team, I did make some big, big changes last night. And just as well, because I was struggling. And this is something that you guys can take away. Don't judge a player after one or two games. Because I was very close to getting rid of Cater. But with uh, his long shots, finesse shots, driven shots across goal. Goal. he has pretty much everything eight games seven goals one assist 1600 coins is a very very good price for what he's offering as my right striker then alongside him for now we're using henry on your well he was playing as a right striker sorry it was keita as the left striker to ping those finesse shots i like what he's offering running into the space on the wings then using his dribbling holding possession and that's really how i'm playing these days i like to take control and then dominate in my opponent's third of course i'm open for the counter attacks but i'm playing that passive aggressive style where i'm I'm just waiting for support then i dart in and uh, regain uh, possession with sarabia i was really debating whether or not i wanted to go for draxler 
or himself. Now, Draxler offers a five-star weak foot, and I think if I had another go at it, I would bring in uh, Julian Draxler. Just because I've noticed that when I am in a position to take it with his right, he's not catching the shot properly on the edge of the box, so the chance is wasted. If I have someone who has good long shots, good finishing with uh, both feet, I'm going to be able to score a lot more goals. But when you get this guy on his left foot, he has a driven, driven shot. Um, rifles, uh, top bins, like anything that you want to take on with his left foot, he can finish. And with his playmaking, it's fantastic. Like the vision, the short pass, the curve. He is a really, really good card for his price. I picked him up for 2007 and I invested in a can to center forward. So when I come around to sell him, I will make sure to post him up for a premium. I've just gone and purchased Drissagay now for 6,000 coins with an anchor chem style already applied. He's had a position change to cam. So that's going to be a little bit annoying having to bring him back into a CDM role. But most of the formations that I'm starting with now is a 4 3 2 one it just seems to like suit the formation that i'm wanting to switch into and bring in those wingers that are really acting as my cams or my strikers so he gets that strong link into tiago silva i want to somehow get uh, Alex Tellez into this team like high tie work raise I know his agility and balance is a little bit low but surely he's going to be better than Lodi but Lodi's been awesome for me so you can't really uh you can't really fault the guy where is he he's not even on the bench yeah I removed him from the starting 11 so what I'm going to do uh, now is go in the market try and find a center back from the Serie A that's going to get a little bit of chemistry and then look to bring in maybe a league and goalkeeper for Tiago Silva obviously this isn't a hundred percent because we don't know how Tiago Silva is going to play so this right center back position needs to be quick, powerful, and just reliable. I've just found a keeper to get a little bit of chemistry to Anne Jesus. He's an 83 rated non-rare and he's selling for, well, he's got a start price of 1,005. Uh, Paolo Lopez, he looks all oh, 1,006. He looks really, really good. Six foot two and some fantastic stats. And going off of all of these other non-rares that I've been using recently, they've got some overpoweredness surrounding them right now if someone can list one up for a little bit cheaper than that though like 1007 for an 83 it's not bad though for like a future investment it's not a bad price at all i might go for shall i go for that one mm, i don't know i don't know no no screw it screw it 1007 it's not even that much come on i won't get outbid surely 1000 uh 1007 83 rated very, very good stats, like I said. The plan with this team originally it was to go and build like a Bundesliga starter squad, a Liga 1 Serie A, and we have just gone and put together something that I was just not expecting. And that's why the best thing to do is go with the flow. If you're taking packs and you're pulling players, then obviously bring in those uh, marquee signings. So in the right back position, I did want to go and bring in Atel, but now he's received a left wing inform, which is unfortunate for us, but it's good for the game like he looks amazing to be brought back into like a center mid role or if you've got like a really attacking right back that you want to play as a center mid then you can swap and change those uh, in game so Atel's regular card I think he's at 77 78 and he's gone up to about 6,000 7,000 which is far too expensive and I'm just not comfortable with that purchase anyway once he gets put back into packs his price is gonna plummet so be careful if you're looking at an Atel in the center mid position though this is a gay purchase for 6,000 coins, you name me a better player for 6k in a CDM role. 89 interceptions, 90 stand tackle, 88 jumping, really good stamina, aggression, dribbling, pace is pretty decent with the anchor chem style for 6,000 coins. That is a bargain. He has some stats that are rivaling low rated icons. That is unreal. And Drissage in game, I think he's pretty decent and he gets the chem to Tiago Silva. So let's say Tiago Silva does play well today. We've gone and got ourselves a nice little pull there. So let's get in some games. Uh, the fitness, by the way, is glitched. Like I, I can assure you that don't worry i go into games and although every single game that you come out of it lowers it resets like you go into the game you're fresh and you have 99 fitness for whatever reason so until they patch that i'm not going to bother with applying fitness cards but i want to go and show you oh i've got some uh, foot central stuff going on here what's happening season objectives have i unlocked some things uh buy a player oh i got xp good good i'm only level seven so i'm, I'm getting up the ranks i wonder how many uh, XP you receive from just playing the game because I checked through the seasonal objectives and there aren't really too many um, specific like XP challenges 
on offer. Obviously, like scoring 60, uh, scoring 20, you know, all of that stuff. But I just wonder if they're going to be adding stuff along the way, like every single week they're going to refresh it, or it's just based on like really the game time that you put in, which which is fine. Sometimes it might be a little bit annoying having to go out of your way scoring headers. I know they've got a couple of header objectives, and I don't think I've scored even one. No, maybe maybe two max. Oh, sorry, I was not in this account, but the other account I scored uh, with uh, Kimpembe from a corner. But that's pretty much it. But anyway, ignore that. I want to show you the rivals rank because we are up to 1,459 points and I've been playing um, consistently well. So hopefully we can continue today, test out these players. If we get caught for pace, then is what it is. Uh, we just sell Thiago Silva and bring in like a big, big sign in because he would be 65,000 coins, right? 65K on who? Who would you like me to sign? Like, a, should we, like, balance the team or should we go and purchase, like, a big striker, a big cam or, or, or something that's going to really help lead the line? We shall see. But let's get in some games, boys, and I'll see you in two. Here we go. Back again against a massive team. That Oh, no. I've just seen him. Mbappe. I've just seen him. Oh, Christ. Don't look at him. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I think this is the first time I've played against Mbappe, and I already know how he plays in game. Oh, who was that? Suzoko, stop those interceptions. I already know how good he is, but hopefully this guy has just... Grandma's teeth! Nan's two teeth! Oh my god! This is a match made in heaven. I feel like giving him the win. No, I don't. I've got to take my time. Ferenzi is feeling like pretty decent on the ball, and I think that's because now I've got like a lot of chemistry. Amongst my players, water ball to Henry on your Kuru. Oh dear, I should have chipped him. I am going to bring him short, you know. Why not? If I just cross it in and get caught on a counter attack because of Mbappe's pace, I'm not going to be too happy on your Kuru. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. This is a good player and it's a good team right now. Release that. Yes, honey. Oh, I see him. Pop. Whoa, whoa. I didn't even know I was through. I knew he was going to pass like that. I think we are predicting his style very, very well. And it's only a matter of time until we get this goal. But this Sarabia on the edge of the box, he has an unbelievable finesse. All that we've got to do is shift it to left-hand side and ping it right now. Oh, we're going to close the angle down well. Thiago Silva. Oh, in the middle. No. Oh, I thought I had it. No. All right, fair enough. I thought I had it, though. I don't know how that ball would just squeeze through. Oh, no, 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 no. I can feel myself right now. I'm getting a little bit aggressive. And it's 2-0. Damn, this team. 2-0 down against a strong opponent and a very, very good team. Mbappe is killing me. So, Sarabia, I'm going to take off, bring on uh, Maxima, and just bring in a bit more quality in the attack. See if that helps us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a great ball, though. Cater, Cater, Cater. Run, Cater, please. Cater across goal. No, please. you got to score. Yes. we got a header. Our first header for a very, very long time. But don't accept defeat on this game. I already felt myself, like, drifting into that FIFA 19 mindset of rushing. Key focus. Play your game. Not there, though. Not here. Yes. Get out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the last pass. Wow, that was really nice, though. Nearly. That was probably the best bit of build-up play that I've done so far in this game. We need to stay uh, consistent with it. Tiago Silva. He doesn't seem like that slow. Oh, I've just been rinsed. I should have expected something like that. Oh, what a finish. Oh, he timed it. Fair play. He timed it. Good goal. Keita. Oh, go on, Keita. Stop that ball. Who's there? Say Maxima with a turn. Say Maxima with a finesse. Ooh. We're still in the game, boys. 3-2. Grab that ball. He's trying to pull me by the neck. Don't injure him. Leave him alone. Full time, and we were matched up against a pretty strong player with a fantastic team that felt very overpowering in the midfield. The first goal that I conceded, before that point, I was controlling the game, and then he caught me on a counter, and it was my fault because I played it short, and it was just a poor, like, set piece. The second goal, though... I think that just showed Firmino's quality, like his positioning, getting in front of the defender, which I don't believe my positioning was that bad. It was just that Firmino is that good and his reactions were quite high. And then the last goal was just a decent uh, time finesse. We uh, didn't take that many chances, though, and that's something that we can work on. Second game, and I do believe that the pairing of the two French beasts from the Bundesliga 
was better than what we've got going on right now. But it's trial and error, and we're against another strong squad. Oh, my. Now we've warmed up, though. Let's see how we can perform. What a win from Sarabia. And, and the dribbling. Great pass. Just hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. In the middle. I see you've got to take your time. Play it back. Find those angles. Through ball. Back to him. Keita. Ball roll. Keita with a finesse. Wow. Now that's a good goal. What on Keita. And that's why I think that he is just the perfect winger to striker when we get in game and switch out to a 4-1-2-1-2. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well when Jesus, what's he? Oh, no, I didn't. Let's see what the ref's gonna do. I didn't touch him. Well, he slipped. The the Drissa gay. Oh, thank God. I thought it was a pen. <laughs> I don't know what Wan Jesus was doing. Maybe his reactions are that low that he could just couldn't look onto the ball. Well done. Oh, what a header. That felt like a power header. Don't finesse, please. Vidal. Don't score. No. Oh. Oh. On the edge. Yes. Finesse. Oh, good save. That's, uh, at least we're getting into those areas, though. Yes, and then down the line. And then Keita, 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 Keita. You've only got one guy to deal with. Yes, good dribbling. Oh, found him. You're on, you're on, you're on. What a turn. Get it. It's gone in. I tried to, like, shoot across goal, and then I was slipping. I slipped on something. Sarabia, though, I did tell you, get him on his left. And, oh, it's cheeky. He can score those goals. But I slipped. That's a pain ref. It's a 2v2. Perisic. And I think I've defended that. Oh, oh now I've got support though. Now I've... Oh, no, I didn't see him. No. Oh, damn. I thought I defended it okay. And then at the last second, it opened up again. Although we did concede a weak goal for the first one, the second one was fine. It was a counter-attack. All that we can do is focus on our own game. On the edge, this is opening up really, really well. Sarabia, I can't get my shot out. Sarabia with a finesse. No, that's what I mean. When he's on his right foot, it feels so underpowered, like stupidly underpowered. And I'd like it if uh, it was better. Oh, wow. Is that really onside? Wow, man, I've been caught big time. And that's a pass across. And, and really, what that's come down to is the lack of quality in my starting 11. Sarabia on his left is good. On his right, he's letting me down. That's good uh, defending. Good. Hill to hill. Oh, I didn't do a hill to hill. Cater across goal, though. Oh, no. It didn't do the hill to hill, which I registered it to do. And there goes the full-time whistle. And I can't really be too mad with the way I played. So, with uh, the quality, uh, or the lack of quality uh, in the attack, like, Henry isn't really a right striker, let's be honest. And Sarabia is lacking that real pace to get things going in the dying moments of the game. Although he did get on the score sheet, he's not, like, a go-to for me right now. So, with the sale of Thiago Silva, we can start bringing in um, a bit more in the attack. So then when we are in those key areas, we can take our chances and we can start controlling the game. But very small margins today. And it's a shame because I was on a winning streak and now I've lost uh, back to back. So one thing I want to say is I don't believe it's a coincidence that we've just received back to back losses. Although it's small margins, we have pretty much changed the whole defense apart from Florenzi. And in the left back position, what I noticed with Alex Teller is, is that he didn't really put a foot out of place. Strong going into the challenge, and I like him. But what I want from my fullback is, I've already explained this, someone that is essentially a wingback, a winger, that has that elite control on the ball. The agility and balance, I think, is what's holding Alex Teller's back, and it's someone that I think I will just sell on. And as he's tradable, we'll be able to get a decent amount. Thiago Silva, when he's in the position to go in for a tackle, awesome and he comes away with it pretty well he has that control and composure but the acceleration sprint speed with the lack of chem style i was getting caught on more counter attacks than yesterday so that's just something that you want to keep in mind and jesus he's going to get the job done for his price you can't really go wrong if you just picked up the game like he was getting in tackles he felt um pretty pretty quick going into the challenge as well but sometimes he's gonna miss tackles the ball's gonna rebound off him and that's really what i noticed so he may be a liability at times this keeper I, I, it's hard to tell like i always conceding a few so i don't know if he's that good uh Drissa gay played very well but one thing that i've noticed myself is i'm not getting too mad about the game or i'm not getting like upset 
because what I've seen is that in some of these games, like it is falling to me inside the box and I'm not taking my chance. And I think that is really down to just not having the correct players right now. So yeah, I can focus on defending better, attacking better, but with Sarabia, I already knew of his like weak foot and he doesn't really get that true conviction behind the strike. So he's definitely going to be replaced. Henry isn't a right, a right striker, so he's going to have to come out the team. But with the 60,000 coins and uh, however much uh, Alex Telles is, what did I do? Hold on a minute. Did that send him to the trade pole? Oh, damn. Yeah, you're supposed to go list like that. Okay, well, Alex Telles is probably about 10,000 coins or so. And we might be able to get like 65,000 bin for Thiago Silva. So with that being said, what upgrades do we make? So I, I need a super fast cam, like so fast, that can play in that position. I need someone that could possibly play alongside Keita. Or if we want to completely rework the team, we've got the coins to be able to do that now. So a 50,000 coins... Like a 50,000 coin overpowered squad. I think we're going to be able to put that together. So recommend me that in the comment section. Leave a like if you've enjoyed today's video. And it's a work in progress. We go again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. 3,000 likes. And I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.